This is another day which God has made and we are happy that we are alive and the fact that we are alive we should rejoice in it. Good morning my brothers and sisters, my friends and my neighbors in Media Land. This is Wings of Eagle Deliverance Church of God and this is the hour of deliverance and we thank God that he has kept us. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be this morning? We could be underneath the ground without life and the dead cannot praise him. So our um, being alive, it's another opportunity to lift up the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are safe. The world at large might not seem to be a safe place. This morning, there are all kinds of viruses which uh, is around, not just the coronavirus. Some of us might be afraid of the coronavirus, but there are other viruses that are out there. But we bind up the forces of evil this morning and we decree and declare that as long as we have his hands to hold, as long as he watches over our soul, as long as we are under his control, it is all right. So we welcome you. We thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule this morning to worship with us we know that today you shall be blessed you shall be lifted up in the most noble faith because we know that without faith is impossible to please the almighty god today we are just here to share a word with you and the word we want to leave on your hearts and your thoughts this morning is jesus the ultimate reliable source of hope faith and power Jesus, the ultimate reliable source of hope, faith, and power. We will not be able to explore all of this today, but I'm sure whatever God permits us to do, that we will do it, hallelujah, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We will just look at just one verse of, of Scripture from Hebrews 11, which is a very, very familiar passage, Hebrews 11, 1. For time, we just read verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Can we bow our heads in prayer at this time? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you today that you have kept us. Lord, we cannot give you Oh God, enough thanks and gratitude today for your goodness and your mercies towards us. It's no wonder the word declare how that men would praise you for your goodness and for your wonderful works to the children of men. We shabak you, we glorify you, we honor you. 
Oh, thou great omnipotent one, we worship you. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah, we glorify you today because you are worthy to be praised. We ask that you'd go before us this morning. Bless your words unto our hearts and glorify thy name. Lord, we are happy that if nobody glorified you today, you are already high, glorified and lifted up. So we praise you today and we give you thanks and we leave this service into your divine care. We bind the forces of hell, evil and deceit and we take authority over the demonic forces of this world because you have given us power. You have given us the autonomy. You have given us the, the anointing to bind the forces of hell and what we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we lose on earth. Lose somebody today. Hallelujah. Lose somebody today. Bless somebody today. Heal somebody today. We shut down. Hallelujah. The network of the evil forces. That is now raging across the world. Oh God. And we declare that your people will be free. Oh God. Help somebody to feel free this morning. To glorify you in spite of. We shut down every bad feeling. We shut down every shot. Breathing, hallelujah. I say, I shut down every sharp breathing now, and I declare that the body will breathe normal. Oh, I wish somebody would just take a, a breath in and a breath out and worship the Lord today because if God declare you live, you cannot die in Jesus' name. Somebody worship the Lord. I want to give God thanks this morning that He's still doing greatness and great things in this world. Now faith is the substance. Oh, somebody need to shout substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. We are not dealing with a stale faith. A last week faith. A last year faith. Last year faith. And last week and even early this morning's faith was for that time which has passed. We need a now faith to handle some now situations. Jesus is the reliable source of hope, faith and power. And we can recognize that throughout the, his life, his 33 and a half years that, that he spent on earth, uh, everywhere he went, he was doing good. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, he cast out demons. Demons and devils were subject to him when he met them. Oh, hallelujah. They said, don't torment me, hallelujah. Oh, but Jesus or was not intimidated by any demonic force. He stood firm. He stood strong. And he represented his father. Oh hallelujah. And he was victorious. Even though. Oh they crucify him. And nail him to an old rugged cross. Oh and buried him. But he raised victoriously. And oh today we can declare. Triumphantly. The church will rise. Hallelujah. I don't care what type of a buried situation. You are under this morning. It just take a little faith. And even shortly before we came online. Oh <clears throat> the Lord revealed a situation to me. Which I didn't even look so deeply in before. And I was saying to. So oh, hallelujah. That the, the centurion servant. Who came to Jesus. He was not a committed child of God. But yet at the end because of his faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus was able to declare. Have never seen such faith in Israel. Come on children of God. Wherever you are we need to lift our faith. And believe God and take him by his word. That now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Jesus the ultimate source. Oh, of hope, faith, and power, my brothers and sisters. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, in, the, in this thought, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Paul was not really defining what faith is, but rather showing us, uh, oh, hallelujah, what faith does in the operative sense. Can we allow faith to arise and operate in our life this morning? Faith undergirds what hope is for. Oh, substance means that which stands under. Faith is the foundation for what we hope. Foundation for fellowship with God. Somebody need to have fellowship with the Almighty God. He's available this morning. He's not going to cast his eyes and turn his nose upon you as if you are nobody. Faith is the foundation of our relationship with God and everything. Oh, hallelujah, that it implies within his purpose. Faith is the very beginning of everything. 
Oh, that really matters in the spiritual. Oh, John 1. Oh, verse 1 to 4 declares, Oh, glory to God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Hallelujah, somebody worship God. If you were made and created in His image and in His likeness, Give the Almighty God a shout of praise and hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Hallelujah. And without Him was not anything made what that was made. In Him was life. Somebody shout life. Somebody declare life this morning. If you have life worship, oh Jesus, our oh, ultimate hope, oh for a change, Jesus, our oh, ultimate hope of faith and power. He's a reliable source this morning. If you can rely on him, give him praise. Oh, we know that Jesus came and he was from the beginning because we hear that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. But man contaminated Mother Earth as they are still doing today. Oh, but therefore God had to reassign Jesus his son to go back to earth, born of the Virgin Mary. Oh, hallelujah, in order to rescue and redeem mankind from sin. For God love us. God love mankind. God, oh, somebody need to know that God still love you in spite of, in spite of our failures and our shortcomings. God still love you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sendeth his son into the world to condemn us. But that faith would arise in our heart. That we would know that even if we have a Lazarus situation in our lives. We can come back to life. Though it's buried and it's dead. But Jesus Christ declared, I am the life giver this morning. I am your hope. I am your faith. Oh hallelujah. A source of faith and power. And I'm giving you another chance. Oh hallelujah. The fact that you are alive. I've given you another chance to live. Oh, somebody act like you're alive. Get out from under the shrubs of your condition and worship the Almighty God. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Just when things seem hopeless, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, delivers again. He's your deliverer. He's the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Oh, today I'm here with a message of hope from the throne room of glory. God, oh, hallelujah, is, is, is the creator of all things, and God never changes. God's character never changes. Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus, the ultimate reliable source of hope, faith, and power, meaning he is our final reliable hope, uh, the best available kind of hope, uh, the final fundamental fact uh, or principle of hope. Hello, somebody. The powers of hell, the gates of hell cannot prevail against the truth and the righteousness of the Almighty God, cannot prevail against the goodness of the Almighty God. God's character never changes. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. All may change, but Jesus never. Somebody give him praise and glory this morning. Hallelujah. For when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, let me personalize it this morning. I wish somebody would reflect, uh, roll back the curtains of memories and rely on the source of help, the re rely on the source of hope, faith, and power this morning. When I think of the goodness, hallelujah, of Jesus and what he has done for me, I cannot help but shout a hallelujah. You can't keep me quiet. Oh, I refuse to be quiet. Oh, my soul shout out. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah this morning. 
thank God for saving me, brothers and sisters. God's character and the promises he makes oh, are supremely worthy of our trust and commendation. Oh, somebody need to commend him this morning. Oh, he's not forcing you because you, oh, he gives every man a will. Oh, hallelujah. But somebody, if you freely give him praise this morning, he would minister to your situation. Oh, glory. Somebody praise him this morning. The steadfast Past love of the Lord never ceases. The integrity of the Almighty God is unquestionable. Can I say that again? The resume of the Almighty God is it's unquestionable. All may fail, but Jesus never. Glory to his name. It is impossible for God to lie. Oh, he's the ultimate reliable source of hope, faith, and power. Each each is his character is perfect. His changeless character is the foundation of all his promises. His promise is true. He'll not forget you. God is still on the throne. Somebody need to praise and worship the Almighty God. Hallelujah. In Malachi 3 6, God Himself testifies of Himself. Hallelujah. Oh, some of us are afraid to testify of ourselves because, uh, hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord, because we are afraid of people, what they are going to say about us, that we are crediting ourselves. But Paul says, I'm not ashamed, hallelujah, of the gospel of Christ, because it's the power of God unto salvation. No doubt, because of Paul's wretched past life. Oh, they, they were questioning his ability. But Paul says, I'm who I am, all because of God. I'm who I am, all because of the word of God that I've ministered to me so I'm not ashamed of this gospel I'm not afraid to testify I'm not afraid to glorify him imprison me if you want I will pen the words of God from any prison cell I wish somebody in your dilemma in your dark hour would oh hallelujah let hope and faith arise in your soul through the power of the Holy Ghost this morning that Jesus is not dead but he's alive and well and if he's alive oh hallelujah that means he can be alive in you if you allow him I wish somebody would come alive in worship and praise today in the name of Jesus now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen can somebody reflect on the immutable character of hope faith and power in Jesus Christ oh hallelujah the evident demonstration of the realities oh that are not seen uh, oh, somebody need to realize that the radical, unshakable faith, you know, hallelujah, is God's, oh, hallelujah, radical and unshakable, oh, hallelujah, oh, solid faith. Uh, in the unseen reality gives us a reason, oh, to worship him and praise him. Oh, it tells us of what can happen in the future if we trust him. Can I talk to somebody? Faith, hope, and power of the Almighty God speaks and declares uh, your deliverance, provision, healing, and victory break and breakthrough today in the name of Jesus. Only believe all things are possible if you only believe. Believe in God's word that he is a rewarder. Verse 6 of the same, same chapter of Hebrews 11. He is a rewarder. <laughs> when, God's re when God rewards you, you are well rewarded. No, he doesn't give anything to anyone and take it back. It is you who walk away. Oh, and when we walk away from his presence, we walk away from that which he has given us. But he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We are living in a changing world, but God has never changed. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So we are living in a changing world. Even nature itself is changing. Oh, because man is messing up nature. Oh, God of mercy. Man travels as far as to the moon to show that they are in control. 
man's lifestyle has changed. Man's way of thinking has changed. Man's attitude toward the things of God has changed. The hearts of men and women have become deceitful and desperately wicked. The world is in a state of darkness. The whole creation is groaning. Oh, and one oh, uh, scripture declared the whole creation groaned. My brothers and sisters, the hour is too late for us to play with surface issues. There are some surface issues that we are playing with while people are dying in sin. We don't try to minister, oh hallelujah, to people's situation. We only keep criticizing them. Oh, if you can't change it, leave me alone. If you can't do something about it, leave me alone. I wish somebody would get radical this morning and say, leave me alone. I'm in the divine hands of the almighty God, brothers and sisters. The hour is too late to play with surface issues. The hour is too late for the church to be in compl or complacent. It's time to rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Oh, be not deceived, somebody. Don't be fooled by anyone. There is hope. There is hope in King Jesus. There is hope in God. Jesus is the reliable source of hope, faith, and power. There is hope. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Therefore, there is no condemnation. No condemnation. Don't let nobody condemn you. To them that are in, I wonder if anybody's in Christ Jesus. It means that you are wrapped up, tied up. Tangle up in Jesus. You're washed in the blood. And the devil can't do you no harm. Oh hallelujah. I don't care how low the devil might cause you to go. If you are even. Oh hallelujah. Yes Lord. I, I hear you. If you are even messed up like a job. I'm here to tell you this morning. You will be able to declare that I know. Oh, I must talk about Job this morning. That my redeemer live it. The whole world is in a state of hope. The world economic system has crashed. <laughs> and man don't have the answer to it. Man only try to let you say things. Oh, there is more public relations around the world now than anything else. Man is hopeless. They don't have anything good to say. All they are doing is giving public relations that we don't panic. Oh, but if you question them, oh, hallelujah, you will realize that they will walk away from you and they will just go around what you have asked them, but they never give you the right answer. The world, everybody is just playing politics, but I know in whom I believe and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed. I trust the Almighty God to take us through this dark hour in the history of the world. The world is in trouble. Buckingham Palace is in trouble. Oh, the Vatican is in trouble. Oh, Washington is in trouble. Oh, hallelujah. Everywhere there is trouble. But heaven is in, oh, hallelujah. Heaven is intact. Heaven is not bankrupt. <laughs> oh, blessed. Uh, I want to tell you also that the world is not bankrupt. It is uh, the wealth of this world is just kept. Hallelujah. If the world was bankrupt, how could everybody, oh, hallelujah, uh, go to the International Monetary Fund to borrow when they are in need? The world, eh, hallelujah, the, uh, the world's riches are hoarded by a set of people. But I'm here to tell somebody today that soon and very soon that will all be over because the king is, is coming. Oh, hallelujah, the king is coming. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I said the king of kings and the Lord of lords is coming back again soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. Jesus is still our caretaker. Oh, can I declare that he's my daddy? Oh, hallelujah. Jesus is still our caretaker. Jesus is still alive and well. I don't know about you, but I will not suffer. I will not beg for bread. The Lord is my provider. The Lord Jesus is the ultimate reliable source of hope, faith, and power. I don't know about you, but I miss the confusion. Heaven sounding sweeter. 
all the time. Seems like lately. It's always hallelujah. Yes, yeah, seems like lately. It's always on my mind. Oh, hallelujah. Because this world has proven to be a failure. I dare not trust the sweetest fame, but only lean on Jesus' name, on Christ the solid rock. I stand all other ground is sinking son. Ever since man allowed the devil, <laughs> Satan, oh, to trap them into sin, the world is in trouble. There are wars and rumors of war. Oh, hallelujah. There are some things that man will never be able to stop. Some of you are worried. Oh, there are some things that nobody can stop. When the great Armageddon war starts, nobody will be able to stop it. This is just an insight of what is coming. Coronavirus is just an insight. Oh, Jesus said, when we see all these things, we must look up for our redemption. Draw it nigh. Oh, there are wars and rumors of war. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Nations against nations. Oh, communities against communities. Oh, some people are talking about war, world war and political war. But right in your very homes, you are against each other. When you get it fixed in your home, when we get it fixed in the church, then there will be a better oh, community, a better congregation. Oh, hallelujah, better living. Oh, somebody, we need to clean up our heart and trust God, the reliable source of hope, faith, and power. Oh, families are against families. There is a demonic turf war going on. There are layoffs everywhere. And more layoffs are coming. Oh, close the business. Oh, but I know in whom I'm believing. Oh, COVID-19 has left a bitter taste in everybody's mouth. It is a sad picture. A dark hour in history. A time of gloom and hopelessness. But trouble is common to every man. Uh, this is a time when trouble is common to every man. Nobody can show off. Uh, I don't care if you have the best medical team. You are still in fear <laughs> of COVID-19. Oh, but there are some persons who cannot afford the doctor bill. But he keeps his, oh, hallelujah. The Lord is our keeper. Faith alone dictates the pace uh, of our future. Oh, for I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand. Somebody clap your hands for victory. Trouble is coming to every human being. There is trouble everywhere. Tr oh, God of mercy. Some people who, who comes into the house of God and talk about, I'm not going back because there is trouble. I'm not doing this because there is trouble in the church. There is more trouble in your home than that which is in the church. <laughs> oh, from ever since. Oh, anywhere people are, there is trouble. It was just Adam and Eve and there came trouble. <laughs> but oh, hallelujah. Oh, we must oh, trust oh, our, our maker and look in our lives and see if we are in the faith or not. There is trouble in the home, trouble in the classroom, trouble at the workplace, trouble in the university, trouble on the street, trouble in the taxi. Trouble in the church. Oh, trouble everywhere. Trouble on the rich, the poor. Oh, the Christian, the sinner, children of God. This world is not our home. Can I say this again? This, oh, let, let, me, let me rephrase that. This world is not my home because maybe it's your home. I'm just passing through. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm not hastening my death. I'm not hastening, oh, my life short, but... I am anticipating the inevitable transformation from heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, when the trump of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise and all those who are alive and remain. Yes, the Lord must preach his coming back. Preach his return. For behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me. If you believe me by faith, you shall be caught up to meet him. Caught up to greet him. Singing joy and happiness. Peace is mine. Sunday in glory, I'll tell the story. I'll caught up to meet him in the here. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. Tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. For if in this life we had hope. We would be as men and women most miserable. There are some people today 
who are talking about the wickedness of government. And if they, if, if they have got a chance to be where the governments are, oh my God, some of us would not be alive. But we thank God, oh, for who God is. And we pray for our leaders. We pray that God will speak to their hearts uh, and that they will lead with, uh, oh, professionalism uh, to the power of the Almighty God. Oh, but thanks be to God. Oh, hallelujah, there is a better home. My home is, is in heaven. Just waiting for me. Is there another weakness this morning? And when I reach there, how happy I'll be. My home is in heaven. No rent to pay. My Jesus paid it. Uh, paid it all for me. Oh, hallelujah to God. If you're standing on the solid rock. Uh, and you know the power that you've got, children of God. Satan, you can't prevail. Oh, hallelujah. Christians will have trouble. As long as we are on earth, we're going to have trouble. But our God is able. The Almighty God is able. He's our deliverer. He's our caretaker. He's our problem solver. Oh, there is trouble all around us, but God is able. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God deliver us out of them all because He's the ultimate reliable source of hope, faith, and power. Hallelujah, children of God. We look for a better city, a better home, the new Jerusalem, a place of joy, a place of rest, peace, happiness, and holiness. Oh, we are all heartaches. The song man says, sorrow will be over. Joy will come at last. Better days are coming by and by. For heaven is better than this. Tell somebody heaven is better than this. I don't care what you have. Prepared for later. The steak. The shrimps. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, the, the chicken. Oh, the, the fish. The steak. Oh, somebody might be a vegetarian. I don't care what you're... It's buzzing your taste buds right now. Heaven is better than this. I don't care the type of wine that you'll be drinking after. Heaven is better than this. Oh, blessed somebody shout, heaven is better than this. Oh, tell your neighbor, heaven is better than this. <laughs> oh, Job was a godly man. An upright man. Perfect and upright in all his ways. Can I talk? Can I say, can I give a brief synopsis of Job's life? Uh, Job was not influenced negatively by his prosperity. Can I say that again? Job was not influenced negatively by his prosperity. <laughs> so Satan did, hated Job. When God blesses you, expect some new haters. When, oh hallelujah, I hear the Holy Ghost say, when God has given you a gift, your gift will make room for you. What, oh, you, you hear people asking their very children from an early age, what career path do you want to take? And when some children express it, the parents say, no, you, you can't be an engineer. I want you to be a doctor. I want you to be a philosopher of so and so. Hallelujah. And if they, those children had gotten the opportunity to be whatever they wanted to be, then their lives would be a success and not a wreck. Because listen, everybody was born with a gift in, in you. And when we go to colleges and universities or wherever we go, we just get a, a manual. Oh, hallelujah. To develop that which we have already given by the Almighty God. Because God has different avenues to take us in life. He is just saying, I want you to be legally, hallelujah, registered on Mother Earth. Oh, hallelujah, because my favor is upon you. The devil ate the job <laughs> and rise up, rise up against him. Every child of God is hated by the devil. And anybody who hates you, anybody who hates the anointing that is upon you is of the devil. I don't care their status. I don't care wherever they come from. Anybody who hates you, oh, hallelujah, hates Oh, they're hating the God that is in you. Some people are saying they can't take you. 
Oh, you can't take me. Because no unrighteous person can take the God that is in, with is in me. Because everywhere I go, I change my atmosphere. Somebody worship the Almighty God. Oh, scan an influential, anointed servant of God. Praise the Almighty God because Jesus is your, oh, hallelujah. Oh, ultimate resource of power. He's your reliable source of hope, faith, and power. The devil ate at Job. The Almighty God declares, Satan, don't you recognize my servant, Job? Oh, so somebody need to, that feels that God doesn't care. If you know what God is saying to Satan this morning on your behalf, you would be surprised to know. Yes, the same God that you believe that doesn't care is saying to the devil, it doesn't matter what you do with small. He's not going to give up on me. Hallelujah. All when the flesh wants to give up, even when the flesh wants to pack up, even when the flesh wants to shut down, because some of some people think that because we are in ministry, this is the only thing that we could do. No, no, no. It is a sacrifice that we have made. And sometimes the pressures of life wants us to quit. Hallelujah. But quit and do what? Quit and worship who? Quit and serve who? Oh, somebody praise Almighty God. Oh, somebody worship God. The Almighty God declares to Satan, don't you recognize Job, my servant? Satan declared, Job, fear you for naught. Hallelujah. Because some people believe that we are worshiping God because of what we can get. Hallelujah. And if you believe that ministry is just a cup of tea, Ah, hallelujah. When you can get behind the pulpit and you will see. Hallelujah. It's not a cup of tea. It takes the power of the Holy Ghost to stand in, especially in these troubled times. He said, take away his wealth, his family, his health, and he will curse you to your face. <laughs> what a blessing to know when God can express confidence in his people. Can God count on you today? The plan of the devil is to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody shout life. Somebody worship God. There is a hedge about every child of God. There was a hedge around Job that the devil, the devil, devil take away his health, his wealth, his children, and his family. But he could not touch his life because there is a hedge around him. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and de deliver at them. The devil, is, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, is not permitted by God to touch you. <laughs> he can't touch you. Oh, hallelujah. Our life's possession are covered by some, oh, hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus. Somebody shout the blood of Jesus. Our life is hid with Christ in God. Hallelujah, the devil, oh, from hell cannot prevail against us. Oh, somebody give God the glory this morning. Has Satan got permission to afflict Job? If God gives permission for us to be afflicted, oh, hallelujah. Oh, he drew me aside to be tested and tried. But in the valley, hallelujah, he restored my soul. Has Satan got permission to afflict Job? Job lost his children, his possession. Oh, hallelujah. He was cast down, but not forgotten. Hallelujah. Oh, he lost his early earthly possession. He lost everything, but he was not forsaken. He lost his health, but his soul, oh, was securely protected. Sheltered, protected. No evil can harm me. Resting in Jesus, I'm safe evermore. Job's body was covered with sores. <laughs> but his soul was sheltered in the arms of sweet deliverance. He, God, was his ultimate source of hope, faith, and power. His friends declare him sinful. Have you ever been there? <laughs> oh, glory to the almighty God. I say, have you ever been there? Can I talk to somebody this morning? We, we need to stop complaining about of some situations that, that, that come upon us. Some bad feelings. Some, sometimes some of you feel as if you're going to die. It's just a feeling. This too shall pass. When we complain to our enemies, 
We are just surrendering to them. Oh, all to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. His friends declare him sinful. Oh, when we are complaining, they are saying, where is the God in you? You save others and you can't even save yourself. His friends declare him sinful. Like some church folks today. Uh, they only want to hear that you are not well. Oh, some of them will even broadcast it that you are dead. <laughs> oh, his wife. Oh, Lord, the only hope that you have had uh, on this earth. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, said to him, do you still maintain your integrity in God? Oh, oh why don't you curse him and die? <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, but Job said you speak like a foolish woman. You could never be my wife and speak like you speak. Oh, Job declare uh, in his affliction, I know that my redeemer live it. Job trusted in the ultimate reliable source of faith and power. Oh, hallelujah. He hoped in God and he declared, I know that my redeemer live it. <laughs> and he shall stand in the latter day on the earth and although after this my skin worm destroy my body yet in my flesh shall I see Jehovah God Job was physically in pain in pain about his wife first he was oh God of mercy can you imagine the man was in sore so the man was in physical pain but I put the pain of his wife up front first uh, before his physical pain. He was in pain about his wife, his children, his circumstances, and his body. Oh, Job was in pain, but he was still a worshiper. Hallelujah! I wish somebody who is in pain about our, a situation this morning would give God the glory and say, Thanks for being alive! I believe Job, oh hallelujah, in his situation was still declaring, I'm trading my sorrow, I'm trading my sickness, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Oh, can I get a witness this morning as you lay something down and trust the ultimate reliable source of hope and power. Somebody call him by his name. Somebody shout out the name of Jesus. For I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help. My help. My help cometh from the Lord. Oh hallelujah. Oh the maker of heaven and earth. Because Job stood up for what he believed in. Stood up for God. Job was more blessed and prosperous than before. Can I decree and declare this morning that your latter is going to be greater, hallelujah, than your past. Your latter is going to be greater than your now. Oh, for now faith is the substance of things. Oh, for the evidence of things not seen. Oh, regardless of your struggle, your trials, your affliction, you're going to come true. Hallelujah. And when, oh, you come true, oh, God must get the glory. Can somebody counterattack the enemy and worship the Almighty God? For God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth. Job passed his test. Oh, you, we can't go around it. There are some things that we cannot go around. I, I must confess that there are some things I would like to go around, but I can't go around it. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. You see, some people might not be able to understand me. Even I myself, hallelujah, uh, cannot understand myself. Because I refuse to complain about the things that I cannot change. I really refuse to talk to people about the things uh, that, uh, hallelujah, that I don't understand. But God is saying, I don't need to understand. Oh, all I need to is to hold his hand. Hello, somebody, you might be defeated by failure. Crippled by hopelessness. Oh, controlled by fears. Wondering why are you going through this? <laughs> How do you get out of this? When will this end? The message from the Almighty God is today. Haven't I brought you through many storms before? Hallelujah. If I do it then, I will do it now. Don't limit. Hallelujah. Don't limit yourself to your circumstances. Don't let your circumstances 
Hallelujah. Determine your destiny. You are going to make it. Uh, in truth and in fact, I declare and decree this morning that you are going to make history. Some of you are going to make the headlines in your community. Hallelujah. In your country. In the world. Oh, hallelujah. Because God, when you are destined to be blessed, no weapon formed. Hallelujah. Against you shall prosper. Some of you, oh, that are saying it's too late to go to college. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Some of you who, who, who declare that life is over, you better get ready. Because if God allows Sarah to bear a child in her holy age, why can't he do it for you? Why can't he bless you? Why can't he anoint you? Why can't he lift you up? And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. I'm going to offer sacrifices of praise. Because God is the ultimate source of my hope, faith and power. I know in whom I believe and I'm persuaded that he is Shandolo. Ribakusia kande. Kandolo boshia kotoria. I'm able to keep you from falling and to prevent, present you faultless before my throne with exceeding great joy. To him be glory, majesty, and power. If somebody would lift him up, God would lift you up. If somebody would lift him up, God would bless you. He would pre pre prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. The oil shall run down upon your head and it shall go down to the skirt of your garment like it run down even on Aaron's bed. I wish I had a church to magnify and glorify God who is our source of help. Oh, faith and power, give him praise and glory. Somebody, I'm closing. Hallelujah. You're going to make it. Oh, I say you're going to make it. You're going to make it. Cast down, but not destroyed. God is your hope. Hallelujah. Lift your faith this morning. Trust the navigation. Trust the GPS of the Almighty God, which is the Word of God. It declares that I shall make you the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath whatsoever you do, it shall prosper. Prosper. Bless in the city. Bless in the field. Bless when you come and when you go. And if you are even afflicted. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yes, some people call it the big C. If you are even diagnosed with cancer. I am the Lord that healed thee. I am the Lord your healer. I sent my word. That I am the ultimate reliable source of hope. Faith and power. I sent my word to heal your disease. I am a healer. I can stop the blood flow. Hallelujah. I can burn out cancer cells. Just trust me. Give it to me. And I will work on it. Give me you. Hallelujah. And I will work on you. If you would allow everything else to wait. I would not let your enemies rejoice over you. I would let them become your footstool. In the name of Jesus. You shall not go under. Hallelujah. You are destined to win. Every child of God is destined for victory. Uncondemned to win. From victory unto victory. His army shall he lead. Till every foe is vanquished and Christ is Lord in thee. As I close today, regardless of what you're going through. Hallelujah. Twelve years with an issue of blood. But if you would allow your faith to touch Jesus this morning. <laughs> if you would allow your faith to touch Jesus. Jesus don't care about the God. Hallelujah. There's no bodyguard. When he was on earth, the disciples tried to bodyguard him. Hallelujah. And he would just, hallelujah, tell them. Or oh, they tried to prevent the little children from coming to him. He says, I love Jesus. Jesus was not led by anyone. He was led by the mandate. And I wish that us as ministers could be led by the mandate of God and not by people. Regardless of what you're going through, I decree and declare you are a winner this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare you a winner. I declare you. Hallelujah. I declare and command your spirit to rise up this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Out of the dunghill of life. Kill fear with faith. For God hath not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. For whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is setting you up for a miracle today.
whatever downfall, whatever pit you are in. Hallelujah. Joseph was in a pit. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. But God, oh, when you, you cannot stay in a pit and become governor. <laughs> so God will let your very enemies take you out of the pit. And sometimes, oh, hallelujah. If you ever know some plans that the enemy have. And each day they try to, 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 to institute them in your life. And, and, and so, so, so they try to push it forward. God block it. <laughs> somebody shout God block it. Oh somebody shout God block it. Somebody shout God block it. Oh hallelujah to God. Do, oh blessed be the name of Jesus. Let me close. For Hallelujah let me close. Oh God somebody shout God block it. Regardless of the enemies around you. You shall not. Hallelujah be defeated. <laughs> For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked. Somebody said when the wicked. Even my enemies and my foes uh, came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Though an oath should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me. In this will I be confident uh, that Jesus is the reliable source of hope, faith, and power. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after. That I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble. Uh, somebody said trouble. Some, somebody, some of us are afraid to speak the word trouble. Thinking you are going to cause trouble in your life. When there is trouble in your life. Shout praises. Oh somebody said trouble. Oh hallelujah. And suppress it now with praises. Somebody praise God. And trample trouble. Somebody praise God. Oh hallelujah. Oh and rub out trouble out of your life. In the name of Jesus. For in the time of trouble. He shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle. Shall he hide me. And now shall my head. He shall set you upon a rock. And now shall your head be lifted up above your, prom, your, your, your enemies, your contemporaries. Oh, now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer sacrifice of praise in the tabernacle. Oh, I will sing praises unto my God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout a praise. Oh, people will say you have sinned when you have troubles. <laughs> Oh, but you should never be discouraged. Take it. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Oh, you will have lost your friends when trouble come. When you have a lot. Oh, oh hallelujah. In your life, you're going to lose some friends. Oh, my God. People will say, oh, where is God when your husband walk out and leave you? <laughs> oh, but sometimes if... If you won't leave the trouble, the trouble have got to walk away from you. <laughs> when your wife walk out on you, oh, these people will say, hallelujah, something is wrong. But I say, if you won't walk away from the trouble, because if we would seek God, oh, hallelujah, in the first place, some things that we meet upon, we would not meet up on them. But I'm here to tell you this morning, hallelujah, weeping may endure for a night, Weeping may be there for a long time. Oh, but weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Oh, sickness there for a long time. Condemned for a long time. Rejected for a long time. Many say, somebody bewitch you and you believe it. Many say, oh, hallelujah, your life is over and you partially believe it. But it's not over until God says it's over. Your day of breakthrough has come. Jesus, the ultimate reliable source of power, is here this morning to bless you. Oh, hope has returned. Faith has come. Joy has come back. A backslider can come home today. Just trust the Almighty God. Hallelujah. My praise is strong again when I trust Him. My worship is lifted into the mystical presence of God. Now is the hour when the true worshiper must worship the Father. Somebody magnify the Lord, for God is a spirit. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph, for God is a good God. Whatever sickness, whatever disease, 
whatever problems, whether it's with your family, your children, on the job, with yourself. Some of you hate yourselves. Some of you are your own enemies and you're blaming people. Ah, oh, you become your own enemies. Cannot forgive yourself for some of the things that you have done in the past. But Jesus is saying, I have already forgiven you. Hallelujah. Uh, he, he, he mentioned, oh, oh, hallelujah, about restitution where possible. Some of the things, uh, it's not even worthy to go and say to anybody, tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you. When you, you tell it to Jesus, it stays. He is your source. Reliable. Hallelujah. I love this word, reliable. He will not let you down. You will not tell him anything. And then it makes the news. You will not tell him anything. And when you go into the house of the Lord, you see people looking on you as if you have mess on you. Oh, when you tell him to him, it stays. He casts your record of sinfulness into the sea of forgetfulness. He is your reliable source of faith. Trust him. We serve him by faith. The just shall live by faith. Bow your heads with me this morning. Oh, hallelujah. Can we talk to our reliable source? Our source of information. <laughs> hallelujah. Our source of strength. This day can be a historical day in our life if we trust the Lord. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Jesus is our reliable source. The ultimate, the final. Hallelujah. Or oh, some of us have really treated him bad. Because we try everything. Try the sorcerer. Try the witchcraft. We try everything. And everything has failed. But he said, even though you have exhausted everything on earth. I will not turn my back on you because that is why I came. It doesn't matter what you have done. If you have even committed murder. It doesn't matter the iniquity that you have been engaged in. Hallelujah. The demonic conditions. Uh, I don't care who you have been sold out to. There is still an opportunity to be sold out to Jesus. He can break the barriers. Hallelujah. And give you peace. There is peace. Hallelujah. In the midst of my storm tossed life, there's an anchor that I can place my faith upon. Jesus Christ in my vessel. I can fear no alarm. He gives me peace in the midst of the storm. Our great God and our Father, we come to you today in the mighty name of Jesus, the ultimate source of our hope, faith, and power. Hallelujah. Oh God, we come to you because we trust you. We come to you because you have proven yourself to us. That even when we are in the wrong, messed up, hallelujah, you still did not forsake us. In that while we were messed up, you came and died for us. We were born in sin and shape in iniquity. In sin did our parents conceive us because uh, sin bring pain, anguish and loss. But God, we thank you for the opportunity. That you did not turn your back on us. You sent Jesus to redeem us. Oh God and we thank you that you have allowed us oh God. To answer to your call. Because our minds were not on you. Our minds were on the things of this world. Lord God our minds were to make oh God ourselves rich and famous. But you have chosen this pathway. Oh hallelujah for us Lord God. And we must testify that is not, oh God, because we don't have anything to do. Oh God, or because it is not because we couldn't be seeking the riches of this world. But we declare today, I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. We thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your keeping care. When the enemy wants us to be destroyed, you preserve us. We thank you that your eyes are upon the righteous and your ears are open unto Oh God, oh cry, we cry unto you today. We cry for healing. For every woman, boy and girl that is not well in body. For those who are diagnosed with cancer. Hallelujah. Cancer of the brain. Brain tumor. Cancer of the breast. This is, oh God, breast cancer month. 
Lord God, when majority of the female population is in fear, some don't want to do their mammogram. Oh God, some is in fear of what they'll hear. Some is tormented by what they have already hear, but are bind up right now. Hallelujah. That which is, oh, hallelujah, is already told. And that which is fearful to be heard, we bind it up in the name of Jesus. Because, Lord, you tell me that healing is provided in the Amakosondo Riyamakashai. Yela kundi asha kotora mahanda. Yekoso, healing is provided. Lord God, you have a bank of healing. A, a, a healing bank that can never run dry. Yes, Lord. We, 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 oh, we, oh, hallelujah. We deposit our feet. Hallelujah. And we draw down on the healing power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, God, wherever the cancer is. Uh, oh, God, today. Lord God in the body. Oh, God. We commit, oh, God, every cancer cell now. Under the microscope of God. And we use the laser being of the Holy Ghost by faith. We burn out. Burn out. Burn out. Yes, yes, yes. From every place. Cancer of the liver. Cancer. Oh, rectal cancer. Oh, colon cancer. Oh, burn out. Liver cancer. Kidney cancer. Every cancer. Blood cancer. From the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Get out. Come out. We burn you. Holy Ghost fire. Fire upon you this morning. Fire upon every disease. Fire up. Oh Lord. Fire upon coronavirus. Fire. Oh yes, yes. The residue of coronavirus. We burn you out this morning. Out of the lives of people. Some are in pain. Oh hallelujah. Some have, have been experiencing brain. Oh God. Oh memory lost. Oh God. But we commit them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some have speech impediment. But we decree and declare this morning. That they shall be healed. By the hand of the almighty God. Oh diabetes. High blood pressure. Oh God. We pray. Pray that they will go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every disease, lung disease, yes, lung cancer. We're buying you up this morning in the name of Jesus. We declare a lung repair right now to somebody that is listening. I declare your lung repair. I declare you shall breathe above Shiama Kusianda. You shall breathe freely in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is declaring right now there's a long repair. Yes, Adoshiama Sotoraba. Yama kondo roboshia kotoria. Yes, Satora, God. Ah, uh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord, as you speak and you call a name. Oh, God, there are many oh, persons who reflect in my head who now who have that name. But I refuse to be silent. I speak to, oh, God, the hearing voice as you speak this morning to the voice of a Sandra somewhere who believes that she's not going to make it through 2020. <laughs> Yes, life give us sustainer. If you say live, Sandra shall not die but live. And the hallelujah. And declare the works of the Almighty Jehovah God. Healing for Sandra. Healing for Sandra. Download your healing. Yes, Lord. I see you downloading your healing upon Sandra life this morning. And Sandra testimony. Hallelujah shall be. That there is what a healing Jesus. I found in you. You're my healing Jesus. Restored. Refresh and renew. Do it again. Do it again. Show to the enemy. Show to the enemy. That you are alive and well. I commend Sandra in your hand this morning. Wherever that Sandra is. Healing. And I declare it done in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for Jada this morning. Lord who has requested prayer. Yes you know her. You know her. You know Jada. Jada is living in fear. Jada is living in fear. I speak to that demon of fear. I bind you up this morning. And I cast her oh, hallelujah. Fear away from your life. And we command every demon. Every kosoria katara bahando. Yasomama kutiara bahando. What does Jada have for you demon? I rebuke you. Ere koshoma kutori anda. Yesaba kutira. Hallelujah, the blood of Jesus is against the forces of hell. Yes, I know that there is more than one of you. But we bind you up this morning. You come in one way, but you shall flee 10,000 ways. Fire upon you, Holy Ghost, fire. 
we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We refuse to dialogue with you. No negotiation. We cast you out in the name. Go back to your sender and torment them like you want. You shall not get Jada's life. Ah, we curse every demonic thought of suicide and we speak life. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus upon Jada's bed. The blood of Jesus upon Jada's pillar. Yes, Lord, stand by. Holy Ghost angels, encamp around her. Whisper life, whisper comfort, whisper cheer. Help Jada to know that you love her. We pray for the family. We pray you strengthen her mother and the family in the name of Jesus. That they will trust you and give themselves over to you. We pray for the ministry this morning. We pray for the ministry. We pray for the ministry this morning. God, I pray for even, oh God, the all family who have just lost a father, a husband, a friend. Oh God, that you will strengthen them this morning. We pray for Mother Hall. We pray, oh God, for the, the healing restoration family who have lost, oh God, this brother. Oh God, that you will strengthen them this morning. Help, oh God, that they will stand and trust you. We curse death away from our congregations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God, we know that our brother was ailing for a while. And oh God, when you realize that he could not manage it anymore, you just took him in the arms of sweet deliverance. So we pray, oh God, that we will understand the transition. But we come against every untimely death this morning. And we pray divine covering upon the church family. We pray, oh God, for the ministering servants of God today who stand in the pulpit. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. God, sometimes it's so hard, so hard to continue. But we know in who we have believed and we are persuaded that he's able to keep our commitment alive because we know that our God is strong and mighty in battle. So we say, go before us and do that work that says, strengthen your man's servants. Some of God are thinking of quitting. Some are thinking of going into business. Oh God, Lord God, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Help us this morning. Lord, help us to stand in the, oh God, in the, 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 the field that you have placed us. Because if we walk away from you, Lord God, I don't know what would be the end of our life. Help us to be honest leaders. Help us to live a holy, upright, and godly life. We pray for our congregation. We pray for the people that, oh God, have confidence in us that we will not let them down. We pray, oh God, that even in our weakest and our darkest hours, as ministering servants of God around the world, oh God, that you will let us be strong. Let the image of the Holy Spirit, oh God, be the platform of our lives. And help us, oh God, not to let those who we lead down, but help us to stand up for righteousness and godliness in this unfriendly world. We pray again for this nation. Oh, the United States of America, who is going into an election in a couple of days. God, we declare a smooth transition. We declare, oh God, that whoever you choose to win, you will let the heart of the people rest in that direction. Lord God, because, oh God, you are not, you are everybody's God. You are not just only for the Democrats. And you're not only for the Republican. You are everybody God. So we pray, oh God, for a godly leader. One that believes in you. One that will stand up for righteousness and holiness. Because, Lord God, whoever is placed in Washington. Whoever is placed there. Oh God, if they are not leading right in a couple of days, people will be crying out again for help. But we pray you will direct the affairs of earth. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray that the church will come alive. We pray that the church will stand up for a godly justice. And we live righteous and godly in this present world. Help us to be an example. Help us to trust you. Help us to believe in you. And to know that all other gods, they are the works of men. We give our lives to you. And we declare, oh God, our protection. We declare our keeping. Remember me. Stand by me, Jesus. And help me to be a true soldier of the cross. We pray for our media team this morning. God, we pray that you will stand with them and encourage them as they, oh God, try to get this broadcast to the world. 
We pray that you will also get your love. Allow them to accept your love. Let your love be shed abroad in their lives and your blessing be upon them. We give you thanks and praise for you are our King. In Jesus' mighty name, we say amen. My brothers and sisters everywhere, we thank you this morning. We thank you that you have allowed yourselves to be available for this word. Jesus, the ultimate reliable source of all faith and power. We thank you that you will come to the realization that he's going to do it again. He's still God. He will not fail you. He's still God. He has not changed. He's still God. He's fighting for you. Just like. Yes, Daniel had faith. And he delivered him in the lion's den. He'll do it again. If you're a mean, your fire furnace is going to do it again. He's a reliable source of hope, faith, and power. Yes. And where you've been, he'll always come true for you. Yes, you. He's going to come true for you. Yes, you may not know how. He'll do it. Yes, you may not. You don't have to know how. <laughs> yes, you may not know how. Yes. Yes, you don't have to know when. May not. Yes, sister Shirley. You may not know how. You may not know when. Oh, you may not know when. You'll do it again. May God's blessings be upon you. May the thought of hope, faith, and the power of God reside in your spirit. Both now until Jesus comes, we say, Amen. <laughs>